Well, I've just put a full tank of diesel in it. I'm now at 172,642 miles. Uh, the little diesel Colt's doing well. Uh, I'm gonna show you a few issues uh, that I found with the engine bay now. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna drink this coffee and then I'm gonna show you. Dino days. So, quick update on the diesel Mitsubishi Colt daily. Uh, this week, I have had a set of cheap CZT alloys fitted. I had a couple of flat tires. You might have seen that on Instagram or Facebook. So, set of cheap CZT alloys. Now they need refurbishing, but they are cheap, and it is something that you could do for your Mitsubishi Colt. The CZT, the CZT wheels are about. You can get them for like 50 quid without tires. Now my set actually had a set of tires and I've got our Jason to fit them. So they cost me 70 quid, um, which I'm happy with. And like I say, they'll get buffed up and I'll, I'll, I'll spray them a little bit with something I think that'll be cheap as chips. I've had window wipers. And I know that's not a, not, not a modification as such, but my window screen just froze this week in minus six. So, Screen wash, yes, very important. Screen wash and with new window wipers, that's out no end. Um, I have found a little oil leak. Um, now, I think that's coming from the top somewhere. It actually looks like it's coming from the filler, the oil filler cap. So whether the seal's got in that, I don't know. I have got to look into why my glow plugs, uh, my glow plug light is on. Now, I know that when Jason was looking at the um, I've got one broken, but my question, uh, the, the point of looking into it is, I need to try and find out whether the other, because it's only a three-pot diesel engine, I need to find out why, whether the other two glow plugs are actually working. So when I go to start the car in the mornings, if I give it two flicks of the key to warm them, as you would normally do, you wait for the glow plug light to go out, maybe in two flicks of the ignition and it'll start up with a little bit of throttle without a problem until we get to like minus minus temperatures and then it's a little bit sluggish to start now the battery seems to be fine so i think we are just struggling to get the cylinder temperatures up to get it started so richard has suggested that if we can figure out whether the other two glow plugs work or not if they don't work, we can actually put it on a manual switch. So we can wire up those um, those glow plugs and have it on a switch inside the car. I just have to remember to turn that switch off. So that's something, a little modification. And again, this is a cheap car. So the whole point of this car is to not be spending loads of money on it. It needs to be a daily economical driver. It's very important that I do get it done because I believe that my miles per gallon in the colder temperatures are falling quite considerably. So I know that I can get over 50 miles per gallon out of it because I do watch that clock like a, like a hawk. So, but when you compare that to the miles that you're actually traveling on that amount of fuel, uh, it does seem to fall off on the really cold mornings. And that's got to be because it's on cold start for longer. So it's not up to optimum efficiency. Uh, and I think that's because it's uh, because it's remaining cold for longer. So I've got to get that sorted out. I might use the old man trick and, and uh, gaffer tape up the front of the car near the radiator so that if I've got a thermostat problem, that will that will help keep the temperatures up because the radiator is not being fed as much cold air. So that's a bit of a hack, yes, but it might keep my, it might keep my temps up and therefore keep my my fuel efficiency up. So we're going to have a look at that. Um, I'm going to show you um, the engine. Like I said, I'm going to show you the engine bay and show you where my oil leak is. Um, I think that's going to be a seal. So we're going to have a look into that. And then hopefully this week also, I'm gonna get my cheap Chinese stereo fitted. Now I bought a stereo for the car, 
simply because I wanted USB connectivity. I wanted to be able to charge my phone and listen to the music off my phone, off my iPhone. So I bought from eBay, the eBay special, uh, a 10 pound stereo. Now it's not got a CD player, it's just that one of those fascia things from, from the land of China. So we'll get that fitted, see if that doesn't sound like crap. But um, again, another really, really cheap modification. Um, I think that's pretty much it when it comes to uh, the car for this week. Um, like I say, a few little bits to go. I'll show you a photograph of the car, the CZT wheels, to see what you think. Again, you know, we're not trying to spend lots of money on this car. We're trying to get it to a point where I'm ready and happy with it so that we can, we are going to spend a little bit of money, we're going to use a, uh, a tuning box and prove how well or not well that works on the dyno. I'm fairly confident because we've used those tuning boxes before and they've had significant gains on other vehicles. Now this is a 90 brake horsepower model 3 pot baby turbo, um, but I know that when I tune them, and I use widows and I uh, and I map them on the dyno. I can get them up to comfortably another 20, 25 brake horsepower, get that foot pad and torque right up there. Now that is going to affect my miles per gallon because there's no such thing as free energy. So more boost for more power equals more fuel. Um, and then I'm going to like likely because I'm not towing or anything with this. I'm likely to see my tow driving fuel efficiency drop if I map it. I'd like to see whether the tuning box has exactly the same effect. So we shall see, and we shall find out. Um, yeah, that really is just the plan for the little daily call. Uh, I hope you guys are, are still working on your cars during this lockdown. I've done another video today whilst I've been driving um, about mental health, so please check that out. I'd really appreciate your support as we all support each other. Uh, it's a great community. I'm going to share this video on obviously the Colt forums, so you Colt boys, I know you support Dino Days, I'm asking you to help support other people, other people that are not as fortunate as, as us, that might be in isolation, might have not spoke to anyone for a while, so I want you to look out for the comments on the mental health video, and I want you to, I want you to speak to people, and if they're asking questions about cars, join in talk to them support them we've all got to stick together i know that the c we're fortunate because the cztoc community on facebook is a family and we have got each other's backs a long time ago uh, a dear friend of mine a dear friend of mine knew that we were having problems with what with my little and it was poorly um and i had to sell it i had to actually sell a daily I had to sell an Alfa Romeo to pay for an operation for, for one of my Bambinos and the CZTOC Owners Club uh, tried tried their best to pay for that operation. I didn't I didn't let them because I was okay. I my you know my attitude was whilst I had three PlayStation 4s in the house, there was no way I was ever gonna take any money off anyone to support to support my little one. But uh, you know the spirit of that family the cztoc is there i've seen people get their cars written off and the owners club try and put money to try and get that land back on the road so it is a family we do stick together and we're very fortunate that we've got that community and i want to spread that community spirit across everybody across across this youtube channel across people so yeah anyway that's another video so check that out please support that video uh please do share it you know, we all we are this family of the CZT. We are these cult these cult owners, and we do stick together. But you know, there's people out there that perhaps haven't got that community and that don't have their own uh, car club. So we're going to help them as well. And I know you guys will help me. So we're going to do that. So yeah. Anyway, back to back to the Mitsubishi Colt. Having a little drive in it today and uh, enjoying it. Um, yeah, and I'll keep you posted with what we're doing on it. Uh, it is absolutely filthy. Uh, at the moment, there's been a lot of salt on the roads. Um, if this had been, if this had been the Civic, I'd have been worried about, uh, I'd have been worried about the salt on the roads and the filth. But it's not. It's my daily. It's a little tractor, so we'll, uh, we won't worry too much about that. 
So anyway, I'm going to post some photographs now, show you my little oil leak and stuff, and we'll wrap that video up. Like and subscribe and all that jazz. And if you've got a Colt, specifically if it's a diesel, let me know in the comments below. We do health checks on these things, we map these things, we modify these things. It's a beautiful one got up for sale that uh, a friend of mine used to own recently, and he only wants a thousand pounds for it. So um, check that out, that's on Facebook somewhere for sale. Nice car, it's a grey one. So yeah, so I will speak to you all again soon and uh, here's some photographs of my uh, oil leak. Well, there's my CZT alloys. Car's looking absolutely filthy. But as you can see, they need a little bit of a refurb. Look how dirty she is. Oh, dirty, dirty. I'll get it cleaned in the week. Anyway, here's my oil leak. As you can see, very scummy. I'm thinking it's coming from there. It could be coming from this breather. But uh, that's next on the list. Donna Day's hose still looking good. Again, a little bit dirty. But uh, yeah, so this is on the list. Mm. Still runs. Yep. Filth. <laughs>